This is a signal generator. It produces electrical signals of different amplitudes and different frequencies. This is a speaker. It takes the signal from the SIGGEN and it turns it into sound waves that we can hear. This is an oscilloscope. It takes the electrical signal from the signal generator and it translates that into an image that we can see. If I increase the amplitude of the signal, we will see the beam on the oscilloscope bounce up and down, tracing out the shape of a wave. This signal generator has a time-based setting of 0.1 seconds per box. So it takes one second for the beam to pass across the screen. The signal generator is currently set to produce a 10 hertz signal. That means 10 wobbles every second, or essentially one wobble per box. I'm now going to increase the frequency to 20 and then to 30 hertz. You might be able to hear that this speaker is now starting to produce audible sound. We can also see on the signal generator that we're getting three waves per box. If I now increase it to 40 or 50, the sound will become audible. The problem though is that our oscilloscope screen isn't very useful at this setting because we're getting five complete waves per box and that means we don't really see much. If I adjust this setting to display less time per box we can effectively zoom in and then take a closer look at these images. What I've got it set to just now is 10 milliseconds per box and since we can see these peaks are two boxes apart it's taking 20 milliseconds to produce one wave. That matches our 50 hertz frequency on the signal generator. The other control here is the voltage gain. This allows us to zoom in and out in the Y direction. It allows us to look at bigger amplitude or smaller amplitude signals. If you have it set too sensitively, you don't see much. And if you have it set too coarsely, you also don't see much. As with most things, a little balance is needed. I'm also able to adjust the signal to produce a taller or taller wave on the oscilloscope and a louder sound from the speaker. Notice that adjusting the volume or amplitude here does not affect the frequency of the waves. It just stretches them in the Y direction. If I now adjust my signal generator to 10 times 5 hertz, I yet again get 50. So it's the same signal. But now what I can do is adjust this and go through a wider range. I'm going to turn the volume down to save the speaker and I'm going to zoom in on the oscilloscope to get nice clear waves. I can also increase this frequency much further. This is 20 times 10, 200 hertz. And again, I can zoom in. In general, when you increase the frequency, you're going to see more waves in a certain amount of time. This shows us directly that it is the frequency of waves that is producing the pitch effect. A higher frequency means a higher pitch. If I adjust the volume or the amplitude setting on the dial, you'll see the waves get less tall. This is a quiet sound wave we're hearing, a low amplitude wave that we're seeing. Amplitude is shown to be linked to the energy of the wave. The last thing we can see, if I go to times a hundred, sorry, times a thousand, I can set this dial to about 10 times a thousand or 10,000 hertz. Again, I need to zoom in to be able to visualize the wave.
and I can hear this. I don't know if the camera does. But if I go above a certain limit, say about 20,000, many people cannot hear that frequency. But the oscilloscope screen does show us that the sound waves are still being produced, or at least the electrical signal is being produced, and it might be that the speaker isn't making it, or it could be that my ears or the camera is not able to pick it up. We know this problem is not with the speaker, though, because if you do this with a group of people, different people will experience this limit at different points. Every individual person has a different frequency limit. The last teaching point is, unfortunately, that teaching, uh, that frequency limit tends to get lower and lower as we age. When we expose ourselves to loud sounds, we damage our hearing, and as a result, we hear less. This leads to people struggling as they get older.